Jeff Keighley hasn't had the best track record when it comes to uh, events. Pretty much every Game Awards and Summer Games Fest are okay. You know, you got a, a cool reveal here and there, and eh. The problem is what could easily be one hour long shows that are, you know, quick and get to the point end up becoming three hours of just tedium and slog. That took so freaking long, I'm not doing it again. I don't have any expectations for this show. My face is more offensive than anything that will be in the program, I guarantee it. And right now, we're excited to officially confirm a character coming to the game and show you the Too exclusive bad the whole roster first gameplay leaked. footage. Sure looks like a new Street Fighter. Ooh, hopefully it's something cool that interests me. Nope. <laughs> Don't really care about Callisto Project. Sorry. Sure looks like Call of Duty. This is a long gameplay demo. It has been seven minutes. Incredible rendering, incredible graphics, all the things. Okay, but what about the gameplay? Because I think the most important thing about any video game ever is the gameplay. How are you evolving the gameplay? All we know is that, oh, cool, bo uh, cool boat physics. Fine, cool for the boat levels. What about the non-boat levels? It, it just looks like another first-person shooter. I want to know what fundamentally separates us from literally every other Call of Duty game because I just don't see it. It just kind of looks like Call of Duty. Maybe it's the best Call of Duty game ever. Maybe it's the core, uh, best core gameplay. That doesn't mean that it's, like, not innovative. I think that's the problem with the series overall. It's just the lack of innovation, and I don't think that there's uh, shown anything that would imply that there is any innovation with the series. I don't want this being a horror show. Oh my gosh, this song is terrible. I hate it. Sadly, you will not be able to hear the pain because it's copyrighted. So, trust me, it's garbage. But some Why wouldn't you show the actual, actual gameplay? Why would you show little hints? And images wow, well, I, if your I game is not ready to have any gameplay sign up now get ready and it's like and a I'm new ip so or something don't a, reveal a it until you can actually show RTS something i will only accept a dumb will, cg you know, thing or just a so uh, uh, logo uh, that was so established and well below it's not a shooty with shoot bang bang game it's not hyper realistic it's oh yes finally something that might actually interest me so is it so it's Truman show if Truman actually knew uh he was on a TV show is that is that the basic gist of the game ah dude ah they uh, uh, they uh, it's like all Voldemort that's what they all look like they really just need noses just give them noses please <laughs> just, ah they just they look so ugly without the noses. That's the only thing it's missing. Otherwise, I actually like the art style so far. I hate this Spider-Man suit, by the way. It's terrible. I don't want to see sons, more, not gonna lie. I'm already sold. It's more Cuphead. I don't the need to see more course. to say. Can you, can you believe it? We're about Neon White, oh. a game where you play an assassin from hell who slays demons. Oh, hey, that's the guy who risked his career just to leak a direct. It appears he done screwed up. This game is coming out on Wednesday, I uh, believe, because this moron uh, decided to leak it like a, well, like a moron. But uh, yeah, eh, not really the biggest fan. I, when I saw it in the direct, I felt nothing. Um, interesting concept. I think if you get help to do something, that means that you're not doing it by yourself. So I'm just saying, Jeff. I do not care about these realistic games, okay? I don't care about games with this boring art style. I just don't. I guess this one is kind of cool if it's like actually 
like desaturated in black and white it's still the same thing basically <laughs> About the last of us so show, I just Those do not care. Um, and it really feels like this is going to be something special. And Why are I you spending so much time on it? Yeah. Well, I mean, that first image that they put out, it, I mean, it feels Louis. like maybe, I mean, everything that I've seen, both public and other stuff, makes it feel I'm just going to say, a Summer Game Fest should be about the uh, game. Uh, this is what I was talking about with Jeff Keighley's shows. It's um, just more that, uh, so next much fluff. Uh, like, I'm fine with him mentioning it. Okay, it's an adaption of a right, game. But well, when you're spending so very, much very time, uh, and, and you're not even saying you anything, you're just kind of billing or, uh, time. You're just going to so hype for show. I get it. You don't need to just... Summer Game Fest.com. Uh, As for me, I'll see you again. I in did August not like we that live in uh, at all. For Gamescom. Uh, two indie games that interested me. Both of them, I don't know what the gameplay is like, so I don't even know if they would be something that I'm interested in outside of the art style and concept. They, uh, it's just. It's the same thing with every Jeff Keighley show at the end of the day. It's drawn out boring and so many of the games are just first person shooters with a realistic high definition graphics or whatever and so they all just blend together and it's so oh god it's so boring it was just pure agony from beginning to end however like and subscribe um just watch videos i put actual effort into and i shall see you sunday for the my thoughts on the xbox and bethesda showcase hopefully it's uh, about as good as last year bye